Hello, good morning. Good You're welcome morning. to sit in maybe another one because I might be blocking your view. Oh, okay. <laughs> right here. There that you go. Okay. That's a good mm -hmm. one.
the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My dear friends, as we gather today to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners and forgave their sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the glory of your name and the salvation of souls bestowed on the priest St. Lawrence of Brindisi a spirit of counsel and fortitude, Grant, we pray, that in the same spirit we may know what must be done, and through his intercession, bring it to completion. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance, that dwells apart in the woodland, in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead in the days of old, as in the days when you came from the land of Egypt. Show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt, and pardons sins for the remnant of his inheritance, who does not perish in anger forever, but rather delights in clemency. He will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt. You will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from the days of old. The word of the Lord. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. You have favored, O Lord, your land. You have brought back the captives to Jacob. 
You have forgiven the guilt of your people. You have covered all their sins. You have withdrawn all your wrath. You have revoked your burning anger. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Restore us, O God, our Savior, and abandon your displeasure against us. Will you ever be angry with us, prolonging your anger to all generations? Lord, show us your mercy and love. Will you not instead give us life, and show your people, and shall your people rejoice in you? Show us, O Lord, your kindness, and grant us your salvation. Lord, Lord show us your mercy and love. Alleluia. 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 The Lord, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? who are my brothers. And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today, the Gospel of St. Matthew we are given by Jesus the idea who is truly his family. He who is truly, who does belong to his family. In fact, he expanded the meaning of family. The meaning of mother, the meaning of brothers and sisters. Today we are given an understanding who we are, who you and me are. We are given an understanding by Jesus himself that who is my mother, who are my brothers, are the ones who did the will of the Father. So we belong to one family, we belong to the one family of God, we belong to one Father, and we call ourselves brothers and sisters, not by virtue only of baptism, or that we know each other by acquaintance or relationship or friendship, but rather in our desire from the heart, a loving service to God, a loving service to Jesus and to the Father. That binds us as family. And that is why it is always important to be reconciled to each other when we have offended somebody in the family. If you have offended someone in this family, you have to be reconciled to that person as well as to the whole family. That is why the beginning of the Mass, every Sunday we always have that act of contrition, of act of reconciliation, the penitential rite, when we say, I confess to Almighty God, and then you, my brothers and sisters, that I have offended. So we reconcile ourselves first before we can even truly offer what is at the table to the Father. And Jesus had remind us, reminded us today, we belong to the whole family of God. 
And we have only a mother and brothers and sisters in Christ. So Jesus is giving us an expanded meaning of what a family is. Not physical, not material family, but a family that does the will of the Father. Meaning that we remain loving and forgiving of one another. Amen. 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 Please stand. Oh, you're standing already, huh? Yes. Or you at the back there? <laughs> Relying on the Spirit who always intercedes for us in ways beyond our power, let us turn to the Lord with our prayers. That baptized Christians everywhere, whatever their vocation in life, may be committed to transforming the world with the light of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for all who care for them, and for the governments and people of the world, that we may experience the healing mercy of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. <clears throat> that those who sow the seeds of falsehood or discord may be converted by God's grace to become instruments of truth and unity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the poor and oppressed, for the sick and those who care for them, and for all our friends and loved ones who need our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray together with our patron, St. Catherine of Siena, and for all our petitions. This Mass is being offered for Pope Francis and the parishioners of St. Catherine of Siena, for the intentions of the soul of Braulio Andre Sr., Hesse Axelrod, Sosimo Clarín Sr., Jerome Gutierrez, Myron Kerdrowski, Joseph Naresh Lalwani, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Loving Father, you gather us together as one family. Bring us together as a family of God and help us to reconcile with one another for whatever wrong that we have committed to each other. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of St. Lawrence of Brindisi a means to our eternal salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. In memory of his death and rest, therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Receive the prayers and intentions we offer, especially the prayers of thanksgiving of Dr. Guy and Karina Lapid. Receive the prayer and thanksgiving of Henry and Clement Cueto and family. Receive the prayers we offer for Isabel Victoria Nasal, for Jonathan Lim, Ting Nguyen. Receive our prayers especially for our parishioners who are live streaming right now at this 8 o'clock Mass. We pray for Stephanie Milka, Mark Spatter, Jenny Braun, Remember also my, our brothers and sisters, especially the frontline workers, the nurses, the doctors, the therapists, those who are in the ICU, in the emergency units, in the hospitals. Keep them safe and away from any harm and grant them always the strength and the courage to sustain themselves. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We pray for Milagros Cueto Manto, Esperanza Cueto, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Lawrence Brindisi, with St. Catherine of Siena, St. Anthony of Padua, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The
let us pray. May the sacraments we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us the fire of charity with which blessed Lawrence Brandisi burnt ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a few announcements here. Tomorrow when you come to Mass, I would like you to bring your own chair so that you can sit comfortably, okay? Because the weather is getting warmer, I believe. So please bring your own chair, whatever folding chair that you may have, so that it's your chair. You don't have, we don't have to disinfect it. You got me? Good. Any folding chair. You can bring your electric chair even. If you want to sit in it, okay? But if you want to bring a couch, if you can, then bring it. Now, that area is supposed to be a driveway, okay? You're not supposed to stay there. It's a dangerous area. So tomorrow, when you bring your chair, just look for those tiny crosses, red crosses here, mm -hmm. and settle your chair there, whatever chair you may have, okay? You can bring one of those beach chairs, you know, the folding ones, so that you can sit comfortably. Is that clear? Yes. So bring your own chair, okay? Yes. And you disinfect it because it's your chair. You don't have to bring the chairs here in the parish because we need to disinfect it and everyone is sitting in it. Okay? okay. Good. So bring your chair. You know that? You can bring your electric chair if you want to. Okay? Clear? Good. And let us not occupy that driveway. Okay? Uh -huh. Because there are still empty spaces here that you can sit. Okay? But if you have your own chair, I think... I know you can sit here comfortably. Good? Good. And you are safe even. Yes. On Sunday, we will still have the drive-in mass. On Sunday, you don't have to bring your own chair because we will put chairs here and there are people who will disinfect them after each mass. Okay? So there is no problem with that. But on a daily, I want you also to have a comfortable moment with the Lord. Okay? Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace to love and serve the Lord. We worship you. Hallelujah.